the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always Namaste friends so far we have actually seen the IAM we have actually created the S3 buckets uh, you know we have seen the versioning we have seen the storage classes so in today's lecture we'll be seeing about the life cycle management what is a life cycle management so how do you actually manage in your life how do you actually manage certain things at different stages as a kid we have a different management you know from parents when the teenage is different when your office go it's different and then finally when you tend to manage your life it's different so at different phases we tend to manage it differently right so understand this at a high level and let's actually see what this s3 life cycle management is all about and why we actually do it and how we actually move the objects so let's take a deep dive i'm excited thank you namaste friends uh, in today's last lecture we actually saw about the storage class in you know, a different kinds of storage class such as s3 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 standard uh, infrequently accessed one zone infrequently accessed intelligent tiering glacier in glacier instant retrieval deep archive which is you know anywhere from 12 to 48 hours and then flexible retrieval so um, now say suppose the question will actually come right uh, hey hey pras i've actually created this object i've actually put this in s3 standard okay uh, but right now i depending upon my usage i want to actually like you know change it to you know different tiers like from s3 standard to infrequently access and from there to glacier after a particular day can i do it yes you can do it and this is called uh you know a life cycle management okay this is what is called life cycle management so in this uh video it will be like a you know a video of five odd minutes uh you know so you know I and mean, we'll be seeing like you know what a life cycle management is and uh, what is the life cycle management versioning which you've already seen and the console demo you know we'll be going and actually seeing it all right let's take a deep dive so what we can actually do is in a life cycle management we can actually put an object in s3 standard and we can say after 30 days now say suppose if we actually forget you can say after 30 days move this to infrequently access and after 90 days move this to glacier sure i can do that so that is what the life cycle management is all about all right uh, so where does this uh, life cycle management actually come into picture it automates moving the objects between different storage tier so that you need not do something before if you just have a rough idea of how this is going to behave you can actually do that okay uh, so this is this is what is the main concept of life cycle management it can be used in conjunction with versioning no problem uh, it can be applied to the current and as well as the previous versions all right uh, so i don't have much of a theory here let's actually get into how we can actually do this now we have already seen this okay we already created a bucket we already created a static website we already uploaded an image so just go to any of your buckets just highlight any one of your images okay so if you see here if i actually click this in my actions i can download calculate the size copy move query which is the athena will be coming later rename i can edit the storage class okay so this part i can also do the edit the storage class uh okay but this is not for this lecture so for this lecture what we need is management in this management i can see here create the life cycle rule i can create this life cycle rule telling what is my rule name okay and how to actually filter it how to actually add it and i can actually move this you know uh this life cycle action rules move the current versions of the between the storage classes i can create a rule okay i can create a rule and this is exactly what i told you but in this case i'm not going to be doing this because i don't want to it is there but this is how you actually do it in the life cycle configuration all right uh so i know this is a very short lecture but this is a life cycle configuration and if you have any questions uh, kindly contact me and i'll be extremely happy to help you to the best of my abilities uh till we see next time take care cheers Namaste friends I trust you have actually enjoyed my lecture on life cycle management if you have any questions please contact me I'll try to help you to the best of my abilities like always I'd like to thank two persons one is you for giving me a golden time and the other is my wife Jayashree for allowing me to follow my passion till we see you next time take care cheers